Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi, distinguished guests on the dais, ladies and gentlemen. Today, India embarks on a landmark mission conceived and given wings by our Honorable Prime Minister, the mission to make in India. The launch of this mission coincides with the spectacular success of Mangalyaan's Mars mission. India's triumph in outer space embodies frugal, homegrown engineering, low-cost innovation, zero defects, Six Sigma quality, teamwork, a frontier technology, precision, and a bold and daring dream. It is, by any reckoning, a world-class achievement. Likewise, all of these attributes have to come together in the same way to make the Make in India vision and mission aimed at making India a major manufacturing hub to be successful. Nations bring to mind different notions. Switzerland connotes high-end watchmaking, Germany stands for precision engineering, and the United States for Silicon Valley and the culture of risk-taking and innovation. Likewise, India, as we know, has come to be known as a global IT hub and as a reservoir of intellectual capital. It's high time that India becomes a preferred center of choice for manufacturing for global companies. The share of manufacturing in India's GDP is low at just 16%. This compares with 34% for China, 31% for South Korea, and 22% for Germany. So quite clearly in manufacturing, we have a lot of catching up to do. We need manufacturing to put the economy into a higher growth trajectory and to create millions of jobs. In fact, we require one million jobs every month over the foreseeable future. Without a vibrant manufacturing sector, India's demographic dividend will fall flat. We need manufacturing to develop the technological and engineering prowess and skills that balanced and sustainable economic growth requires. I believe that the call to make in India could not have been more timely. Manufacturing has to become the next big wave for us. India has all the ingredients in place to become a manufacturing hub. Talent, entrepreneurship, raw material, a large domestic market, and the opportunity to reap economies of scale. For us at the Aditya Birla Group, India is already a manufacturing hub. We export copper and aluminum products, textile fiber and yarn, as well as specialty chemicals across the globe from India. More than 80% of our group's revenue of $40 billion comes from our manufacturing operations here in India. And hence, Make in India has a very special resonance for us. We are now leveraging our global position to bring cutting edge, high end, manufacturing capabilities to India. For example, in aluminum, we have commissioned two high-end downstream facilities in Odisha and in Maharashtra to produce high-precision value-added products. These products were earlier being manufactured by us at our plants in the United Kingdom. The technical expertise in our global organization was leveraged to set up these facilities and establish these and establish these high-end products that are new to the Indian manufacturing sector. We have sent multiple batches of engineers to our global facilities for on-the-job training, and we will now use these assets as a global manufacturing hub and will cater to the strong export demand from India. In closing, I want to emphasize the role of dreaming big and imagining bold. That's the only way to achieve what was once thought not possible. I believe that the Make in India mission is a clarion call that will galvanize India's economy to achieve new heights. Thank you.